You did a good job, Mama. What do you think, Leon? <laughs> We're charging. We're using 5,000 miles on a cloudy day. I love it. So I'm so excited guys because today, when the day is done with, we have successfully built a power plant. I had no idea that we were ever going to make it here, but here we are. We'll be done today. And right now we have two of the three strings running and we are killing it on the charge and everything going on in the house. So yes. we definitely overdid ourselves with three strings, but it's a good thing. It's Not a, a good bad thing. thing. Yes. You can't ever have too much power. No. <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> I'm just kidding. You led me up to it. Oh, you led man. me up to it. <laughs> we gotta do it again. No, that's going in. You clocking in for work, Leon? The first step is going to be disconnecting and removing the original 12 solar panels and the rails. These original 12 solar panels are going to be reinstalled along with our four new solar panels, but the first thing we need to do is switch out the rails. I'm gonna screw these two right here, babe. I need you to go on that side, hold the panel up, set and slide off. All right. All right. Good job. Thanks. We're doing solar panels, and uh, go ahead, you know better than I do. <laughs> and we, we look over, I've been keeping an eye, as you guys know, on another one of our ewes, and she, she just had a little lamb. So now we're gonna go see how many she's got, and there's snow on the ground, it's warmed up a lot today, but she's probably gonna need to get moved into the barn at some point today. Yeah. She picked a good dry spot underneath the trampoline to have the baby, though. Yes, yeah, she did. She's a good He's mama. a big one, too. He is. But it's not twins. Well, you don't know that yet. She could, she could have more in there. We haven't given enough time. You think it's a ram or a you? He looks like a big ram to me. <laughs> you did a good job, Mama. What do you think, Leon? What do you think? Leon's not the dad, by the way, guys. 
So I was wrong. <laughs> Two just came out. You gotta wait. You can't count all your lambs before she's they huge, hatch. Uh, she, <laughs> she's by huge too, though. Yeah. Okay, so we have two. Two more so far. Aww. Such a good mama. You got lots of new friends, Leon. Carter to the rescue with a towel. All right, let's help mama dry them off. Aaron's gonna go ahead and dry them off real quick. How about the uh, new mom? She's busy. Yeah, she's, she's got two her, of them, so. got her hands full. Do such a good job. All right, let's. Um, actually, the snow on the ground is actually like 40 degrees outside. It is. We're gonna get some more hay. Let's get some more hay in this area. Get everybody over into the center, and then I say that we just let them be, let them hang out for a little while. We have more rain coming tonight, so we're just gonna we'll move them into the barn yeah. in a little bit. But for right now, they're fine outside. They she probably out. she yeah. probably enjoys being outside more. Yeah. A girl. Again. <laughs> girl. Oh. We've had three sets of ram and ewe lamb. Twins. This year. Three sets so far. Yeah. I called that big guy the boy. I knew he was. <laughs> He's huge, right? Yeah. Okay, got it. Good job, Carter. You see nursing? Good job. Baby's nursing. Change your plans, taking all the rails down, make our life easier instead of biting it. You got it? I'm so excited because we're about three hours away from being able to run electric heat. I can't wait. That reminds me. Guys, we just started partnering with Stereo for live podcasts. What's cool about this is it's live, so we can actually interact with you guys in real time, answer your questions, and kind of just hang out. Yeah, in our latest podcast, we talked about the plans for the backside of the house. We got a lot of great input from you guys. Yeah, it's neat. It's a new way for us to hang out with you since normally it's just in video form. Mm -hmm. So if you missed our first podcast, don't worry. You can actually just download Stereo app and then go to Stereo.com slash WWOG Aaron. Or WWOG Josh, <laughs> obviously. No, WWOG Aaron. <laughs> okay. Use my link. We're going live again this Tuesday at 6 and also on Friday at 6. We're actually going to be discussing tonight's test, which is going to be running electric heat on solar during the night. And Hope if it we works. could. We'll see. We'll keep you informed. <laughs> yes, we will. All, all topics are on the table. So leave us a comment below. Let us know what you guys want to talk mm -hmm. about, any questions you might have, and then uh, join us to hang out on Tuesday nights, stereo.com slash WWOG Aaron. Or WWOG Josh. <laughs> I'm, I'm more fun. Okay, well, <laughs> we, we gotta finish the project first, Josh, all right? It's funny looking back because I still remember what it was like when we first moved out here and it was just raw land. We had no running water. We've been without water for about seven or eight weeks now. Mm -hmm. There was no electricity up here. The closest power pole for us was a half mile away, which meant that getting grid power up here was going to be expensive and time consuming for us. Plus it really just wasn't in line with our ultimate dream and goal of being energy independent. With our savings and monthly income going directly to our house build, we had to wait on purchasing our solar system. So it actually wasn't until we were about eight months in before we could buy solar. That was my Christmas bonus from work that made solar reality. And uh, it was definitely exciting. Do it, do it. Yeah! Yes! Yes! We have power. 
and Aaron can get off my back about that generator and all the gas costs. That's what he says, but he's the one using the blow dryer for his beard, not me. <laughs> It was a huge investment for us, but it meant freedom, and it also meant that we were actually going to be successful in this goal of being off-grid. did have yep. a couple of uh, mess-ups there. It happened, it happened. We've done this type of stuff. Yeah. Just gotta keep on going. Yep. But the hardest thing about the project was is keeping big country up here from walling that mud all day. Oh my God. <laughs> Wham! Gotcha! <laughs> When we first got here, we were on generator power to run the RV sporadically. Knowing that we were close to having solar power and just not being tied to the grid or being reliant on somebody else was very exciting. So we have full-time power now. This is a huge milestone for us, mm -hmm. something that we have dreamed about and worked towards for a really long time now. This thing can run all of our AC and everything in the house without a problem. Part of achieving this goal meant that we had to be okay with gradually building onto the system as time went on. walking on ice, but we don't have ice coming down on us. Yes, that's a huge win. I'm good with that. Let's get installed. <laughs> Well, what are what are the chances of it like blowing up when you turn it on? It's a huge step towards growing and energy independence. Even more so than we already were. Having something we've worked so hard for come to fruition is so empowering. It's been a long time coming, but today is the day we finish the job and we finally get to see our hard work pay off. Who done for day yet? <laughs> Pretty sight. It is. It's done. It's done. A hundred percent done. Nothing, I can't believe it. Nothing left. Yeah. Oh, you just flip the switch. Yes. On program. Yeah. Let's go to bed first, though. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. 
it's been a week now since we completed the install and life is looking really normal. We've already gone through a range of weather from rain and sun to snow and clouds and this system is not letting us down. We no longer have to worry about the weather. We are running a fully modern home on solar, something I don't think either of us thought we would ever actually achieve. We are now, thanks to our upgraded solar system, able to function on a cloudy day as if it was actually a sunny day. We now have a total of 32 solar panels, 12 385 watt Hanwha solar panels and 20 425 watt solar panels, giving us a total of 13,100 watts. This makes up three strings that go to three MPPT80 charge controllers that then go to our 6,800 watt inverter. We also have six 48 volt 3.8 kW Simplify batteries. Everything is housed inside of our powerhouse, which is behind me right here. And just as a side note, we did size the wire properly from the solar panels all the way back to this powerhouse to ensure that we would have under a 3% voltage drop. So we could not be more excited about how the system is performing so far. We actually got it set up like about a week ago. Yes. So we've been running on it this entire time and we've gone through a huge range of weather from snow to rain to full on clouds and even fully sunny days. Yes, yeah. so as you guys know, we are 100% off grid. There's not grid tied system. Yeah. We don't have power up here at the house. Mm -mm. So we are off grid. And when we sized all this stuff, we wanted to run a fully functional house with well pump, dishwasher, uh, air conditioning, uh, heat, electric heat, everything yeah everything what a typical household would have so as of right now we're running uh two uh mr cool split units mm -hmm. um they both turned on we're heating house right now so we're not using actually using any firewood for the past what four or five days yes. now we're yeah using electric heat which is fantastic yes and uh what else? I think well, those also run air conditioning in summer, by yes. the way. The Mr. Cool, they do both heat and air conditioning. Um, in general, what we have in the house that we can run on this system is a dishwasher, um, a washing machine. Um, propane dryer. A propane dryer. The plan for that is, and our water heater actually is to have them both tied into an outdoor wood furnace, and that's going to provide the heat for those. However, we're not there on that project that's yet. That's coming so. down the line. For now, we're temporarily on propane. What else? We have a microwave refrigerator um, all, all stands well led lights everywhere just a standard house everybody has in the house we've got it computers electronics yeah. we have the tvs in there all that kind of stuff yep um we also can run an electric fence charger on it we have freezers there's a freezer right here in this powerhouse i don't know we're probably missing things but basically your regular typical everyday household that's what ours is like as well yeah so i guess with our original system we had 12 panels and we could run all that stuff then too mm -hmm. on the sunny days yes the days where you had a lot of overcast you could still run things um but it's, it's hard to if you're running a lot of things it's hard to charge batteries at the same time you, you're pretty much depleting in a little bit i don't know our thing was is that we would have to be very mindful when yeah. when those days came around where we didn't have full sun we had to think about what we were running instead of just kind of mindful pay attention right and kind of, instead of just going about our daily life normally which is why we wanted to upgrade especially for winter when we come into a lot of really cloudy overcast days yeah, there's more there's more cloudy days than not yes and where, where we're at so. so and we want to be able to function normally on those cloudy winter days so that's why we upgraded the system and now we can and today's a cloudy day it is it's uh, overcast like it's definitely overcast today so and if you see right now we're actually running uh our load is about 2200 watts right now we have two heaters on and i think uh the kids may be watching a movie yes i believe they are they're yeah. hanging out today mm -hmm. um and we're charging and we have a lot of a lot of power left there we, 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 we could use right <laughs> can you see his face lighting up he's getting really excited <laughs> so let's look, i guess look, let's look at the uh, charging drawers real quick hold on let me grab this as you guys can see um they're each blinking differently that one's blinking really slow that one's blinking a little bit faster, and that one's going really fast. Um, the blinking is how much charge is coming off of here going to the inverter to charge the battery. So everything's pretty much ramped down because we're actually in float right now. So the batteries are pretty much getting topped off. It's actually bringing in what we need. So it's enough to run what we're using and also trickle charge that battery. So if we're looking at our panels right now, uh, let me see, right here, we're since we're in float. Um, our output on our string one is 100, 180 watts, 200 watts. It's fluctuating up and down. Let's go to uh, charge controller part two, number two. 
good our meters and that one's bringing in 917 watts 903 watts so now let's go to charge controller 3 the one that was beeping really fast it shows 2200 watts um, keep in mind charge controller 1 and charge controller 3 have the same same panels on there they both each have 10 panels this is like the smart technology you could say it knows how much it should pull and can pull when needed it doesn't need to pull all that power in right now because our batteries are charged. Um, let's go ahead and turn a bunch of things on. Let's watch this number jump up over to four to 5,000 watts. And then we'll go ahead and back to the charge controllers and see what it can produce. The charge and everything, the power coming in is going to jump up. Let's see what we can do with our cloudy day. So as you guys can see, it's an overcast day. And I love testing the system when it's, when it's like this. <laughs> So, all the lights turn on in the house, they're all LEDs, so they don't draw much. Um, we turned everything on in the house. Turn the faucets on real quick so this well pump's gonna be kicking on. You can hear it click in a minute when it gets down the pressure, it's almost there. This is gonna jump up. And once that well pump is running too, let's go ahead and put the air compressor and plug that guy in there too. Okay. And see what we're drawing, see if we're, still, if we're charging at that point. Because right now, you can see how one's going a little bit faster, and so is he. But we're still, it's not phasing the system at all as of right now. So. Let's watch this thing kick on. Did you hear that click? I did. Okay, so now we're at 4,000 watts. Let's see what we got going on here. Um, charge controller 1, jump it to 980. Charge controller 2, jump it to 1700. 1800 almost. 3, jumped up to 2600 watts. So, still, it's, it's a cloudy day. Draw on 4,000 watts, it's not even phasing the system because they're, they're not even close to being maxed out yet. So let's plug something else in. <laughs> Should I plug it in here? Okay. It can be loud. There you go. Here we got. Not much. We're at 5,000. 5,000 watts. We're charging. We're using 5,000 spots on a cloudy day. I love it. You know? I love it. It's awesome. I'm starting to get the feeling that the solar system brings you more joy than I do. <laughs> so, I'm not, I'm not sure why it works out that way. It always has charge controller one as being the as the lowest man on the totem pole, I guess. So it, it charges from charge controller three the most, and then it goes two, and then goes one. As, as I guess as the charge goes up, um, one's the, the lowest, the, I guess the last guy to go up as high as it can go. Does that make sense? Yeah. So, but keep that in mind, charge controller one has 12 panels, it's actually 4.6 kW versus the other ones. Right. So that's actually the biggest string we have. Mm -hmm. So we're not touching this, this thing, this is what we're running on a cloudy day. Yeah. It's amazing. And I, I've never seen this thing hit 5,000, 5,500 watts before. Yeah. The first time ever. Yeah. And cause that just shows that we don't run everything like this. No. So we're... We're, we're killing it. Yeah. So we still have everything on inside the house. We the, the pump stopped. The uh, compressor's turned off. So we're actually about 3,000 watts. If you go back, you can see everything's ramp. It's starting to ramp back down again. 1,000 watts. So my point is, everything's starting to ramp back down. It knows the the level of the batteries through the battery monitor. So it charges as it needs power. So as as our load increases in, that, in the house, it lets the power come in, and we pretty much run off the sun. And as, as that load goes back down, it steps everything back a little bit and just continues charging that battery. So we're never pulling off that battery unless it's dark outside, I guess, as right. of right now. Yeah. That makes sense? Yeah. So so the one area we do need improvement on, in, in our opinion, is the batteries. Right now we have six batteries. Mm -hmm. um, our goal is to get to 15 batteries. But they're the most expensive part of the solar system. Yeah. So yeah. that's something, like with this entire system, our plan has been to just build onto it as finances allow. And that's the last part that we're going to be working on is building up that battery bank as time goes on. But right now we're sitting really pretty. We're sitting good. I mean, 
Yeah, so we don't, during the day, we don't pull out the batteries, it seems like, anymore. That's, no. that's what's the great no. On a nasty day, we don't pull out the batteries now, which is great. Yeah. So, at night, we, we, don't, you, we don't run much things at night anyways, though. Except we did. When? We did. I don't want to let the cat out of the bag oh, yeah. and night. spoil it for you guys, but we did have our first night of uh, running electric heat. And yes. but we won't tell you what happened. But in, in our live that's coming up, you guys can join and we'll get into all the details on that. But Yeah, it lasted all night. <laughs> you can't tell them. <laughs> After weeks and weeks of work on our solar power system, we are finally closing this chapter. We are less than one month away from spring, and there are decks to be built, a foundation to be poured, and a whole new build to begin.